Welcome to Statics. Support reactions for two dimensions. Most of the bodies in static equilibrium that we consider will have supports that connect the body to other bodies, the supporting ground, or some sort of stable foundation element. The body pushes or pulls against the support. The support responds with equal and opposite reactions. The purpose of most engineering structures, regardless of size, is to transfer forces from one point in the structure through the various elements in the structure to the structure supports, as demonstrated by the simple model of a house. There are many types of supports that produce a variety of reaction forces and moments. If a support prevents translation in a given direction, then a force is developed on the member in that direction. For example, if your body weight pushes vertically downward against the supporting ground, then the ground pushes vertically upward with an equal load. Likewise, if a rotation is prevented, a couple moment is exerted on the member, acting to resist rotation. Here is a table of the most common supports that we see, and the reactions that they produce on a body. Tables like this are a useful resource as you get familiar with supports and reactions. Eventually, you should either memorize these or else learn how to determine what reactions a support causes based on the principles we just discussed. Let's look more closely at these and a few others. Let's first look at a smooth surface support. The body can slide up or down the surface but cannot penetrate the surface. We would model this type of support as a single force in a direction normal to the plane of the surface. The end of the body is free to rotate, so there is no moment reaction. Note that the body could potentially lift off the surface, so we only get a push against the surface, but cannot pull against it we get the same support reaction for a rocker support. The reaction force is a push normal to the surface. The end of the body is free to rotate, so there is no moment reaction from a rocker. Here is an example of an actual rocker support on a bridge. Its purpose is to hold up the structure vertically, but to also allow some horizontal movement from thermal expansion and contraction of the structure. A roller support is similar to a rocker. The roller can translate along the supporting surface, but cannot penetrate the surface. So we get a single reaction force normal to the surface. The roller does not prevent the end of the body from rotating, so there is no moment reaction. Here are a couple of examples of roller supports, one for a bridge on the left and one supporting a pipe on the right. A similar support is a pinned collar. In this support, the collar is around a smooth bar and can translate in the direction of the bar. It cannot penetrate through the bar. So we get a single reaction force normal to the direction of the bar. The pin between the collar and the body allows the end of the body to rotate. So there is no moment reaction. Note that the force can be a push or a pull on the body. Next, let's look at a cable support. In this case, the body is supported by a cable, rope, or cord. We model the reaction as a single reaction force pulling on the body, with the force oriented in the direction of the cable. Cables can only support tension force, or pull, on the body. The end of the body is free to rotate, so there is no moment reaction. A cable stayed bridge is a common example of a cable support on a body. A rigid link is similar to a cable. A rigid link is connected to the body with a pin, and at its opposite end is connected to a supporting element with another pin. The self-weight of the link is typically neglected.
The link produces a single reaction force oriented along a line that connects both end pins in the link. A link differs from a cable because a link can be subjected to a push or a pull. The yellow member in this mechanism can be modeled as a link. Notice the pin connections at both ends. Note that the link does not have to be a straight member. Curved, bent, S-shaped, or any other shape can work as a link. In all cases, the direction of the reaction force is oriented along a line that connects both end pins of the link. The shape in between the pins does not matter here. A very common support type is a simple pin or hinge. A pin support connects the member to the ground or some other rigid foundation. The pin prevents the end of the body from translating in both the horizontal and vertical directions. So we often model the pin as a horizontal reaction force and a vertical reaction force. Now these can be combined into a single resultant force, but it is usually more convenient to break it into two. Note that the pin permits rotation at the end of the body, so there is no moment reaction here. A hinge support is a pin that connects two bodies together. When analyzing a structure made of multiple bodies connected with hinges, it is often convenient to split them at the hinge. Again, we model the connection as a single vertical reaction force and a single horizontal reaction force. There is no resistance to rotation at the hinge. In fact, that is the point of using a hinge. The reaction forces are equal and opposite on the two members and disappear when the members are reconnected. Here is an example of a pin connection on the left and a hinge connection on the right. These photos were taken from the same gymnasium structure, which had a large arched roof. Another common support is a fixed support. Like the pin support, a fixed support prevents the ends of the body from translating horizontally and vertically. However, a fixed support also prevents the ends of the body from rotating. So this is the first support we have considered that forms a moment support reaction. We model the support as a horizontal reaction force, a vertical reaction force, and a couple moment. The directions of the reactions can vary depending on the direction of the applied loads. The connection between the arm and the post of a traffic light is a fixed support. The support keeps the arm from moving vertically and horizontally. It also keeps it from rotating under the applied loads. The connection between a tree branch and the trunk of a tree can be modeled as a rigid connection. The last support type we will consider here is a smooth fixed collar. This support is similar to the pinned collar we previously discussed, except the body is fixed to the collar. In this support, the collar is around a smooth bar and can translate in the direction of the bar. It cannot penetrate through the bar. So we get a single reaction force normal to the direction of the bar. The fixed connection between the collar and the body prevents the body from rotating, resulting in a moment reaction. Note that the force can be a push or a pull on the body. Other types of supports and their corresponding reaction forces and moments can be found in tables in common statics textbooks.